Hello, hello, hello. What's up? This is Daddy T again. Got another one for your eyeballs and for your minds, and more importantly, your stomachs. Now, I am in Kurihama Jusko Mall, located in Yokosuka City, Kanagawa Ken, on the second floor at the address below. And I have had my mind on one thing lately, besides making more videos, of course taco. Now, I don't mean Taco Bell, they're awesome, and I just had some of that a few days ago. But I mean taco as in takoyaki. And the one place that has gone just about unchecked in Japan, as far as takoyaki goes, is Gendako. Now, what do you say we go and look and see what they have in there? Cool? But first, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video, or the bottom right of this video. Yoroshiku onigaishimasu. Okay, so let's talk about the taco. Taco is Japanese for octopus, and this dish originated and hails from the mysterious land of Osaka. Yeah, that's right, Osaka. Actually, by general Japanese rule of thumb, let's just call it that, it should be pronounced yaki taco, like yakitori, yakiniku, yakisoba, because yaki means grilled, yakiniku grilled meat, yakitori, grilled chicken. But Osakans like to be different. It's the other way around, with the word fried at the end. Now this is no disrespect to Osakans out there. No, not at all. I'm just telling you straight up how it is. In fact, I've visited Osaka plenty of times, and even driven all the way out there from Kanagawa once. Long drive. Another example of cultural difference in Osaka would be escalator standing. In just about every prefecture, you stand on the left side if you are just taking the escalator up or down. In Osaka, it's the other way around. You wait on the right side if you are riding the escalator, while people will walk past you on your left, as opposed to walking past you on your right in every other prefecture. That's just an example and should give you some context as to why it's called takoyaki. Okay, we did that. Now let's look at what they have. This is the traditional takoyaki here. And there is a special one with negi or onion. And it comes with its own special sauce. Check out a couple more options they have. They had a promotional one to honor a character in the number one hit enemy in Japan called Demon Slayer. But it was just discontinued before I made this video. Take a look at how they make it. These are some skilled takoyaki chefs here. Again, this is a chain. If you're watching this, no matter where you are, you can find one somewhere in Japan. But I always enjoy watching them make it, and the process is still the same, wherever you go. And also, I never found an actual whole restaurant. They're always either in a cart or a food court somewhere. If you find a whole gendako restaurant, Comment below in the location. I can't wait to eat, but I have to order first. He is going to ask me if I'm eating here or if I'm taking it to go by saying, Kochira de omeshiagari desu ka? To which I will reply, Koko, which simply means here. Now, if I'm taking this out, I would say, Mochikairi, but I wouldn't recommend it with takoyaki. You want them nice and hot and they are especially hot inside so please 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 don't let your toddlers bite into these right away open them up and do the blow down method first and let them cool down to a temp that will not burn off your tongue but as crazy as it sounds that's when it tastes the best now i told him kochira but i also asked for a bag because i'm getting two different kinds and i want to give some to the kids when they cool down the takoyaki, not the kids. Before I eat though, I have to say hi to my kids locked down during time. Baby, it's gonna be okay. I'll get you a good lawyer. Oh no, you're in here too? This sucks. Now I need two lawyers? Put your hand against the glass. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Crazy world we live in. I never thought the future would be like this. The 80s were much simpler. But alas, we are all in this together, aren't we? Alright, so let's eat. It's alive! 
Now these flakes are called katsuobushi. It's basically fish flakes. I freaked out when I first saw these and I was like, what in the... Why would you eat something that's still moving? But no, it's the heat doing that. So don't worry. Pretty cool, huh? This one has seaweed or nori on top of it. Also good. And we put it in a dip and we're golden. That tasted really good. So come visit this place if you ever wanted to try tapuyaki. And there you have it. You learn how to say you want to eat in or take out in Japanese, the origin of takoyaki, and what those fish flakes are on top. So like and subscribe. You know you learned something. Go ahead and hit that bad boy. Thank you for stopping by and I appreciate that. Come on back for another video. Till then, see you on the next one. DTL.